I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're delighted to welcome to our show a wonderful author. His name is Jamil Usman. He is a distinguished member of the Urdu literary community, and he is making his English novel debut with a book called Cloud. Wow. Known for his contributions in poetry, prose, and children's literature, this author brings his unique storytelling to a wider audience. The Cloud is a thrilling tale centered around Dr. Stephen Lucas, who invents a revolutionary cloud-based technology to shield the nation from nuclear attacks. As the country celebrates this stride towards peace, a malevolent dictator plots to kidnap the good doctor and thwart this advancement. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his wonderful book. The links are below this interview. Jamil, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me. This is such a creative story. It's a very good contemporary story. Uh, when uh, it seems like people who work for peace are often undermined. Uh, tell yeah. me about your inspiration for the cloud. Well, actually, I thought about uh, writing this book, uh, uh, looking around the world. There were so many conflicts going around and nations uh, at, in conflict, people, uh, you know, the bombing and missile attacks and uh, threat of nuclear war. And then there are rogue states that uh, may, uh, you know, attack uh, this, uh, this modern civilization. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was in my mind that uh, how can we save uh, our nation and the world from this catastrophe? And that uh, came into my mind that uh, why don't we shield the skies uh, so that nothing can fall from the skies to the ground? And whatever comes false, uh, it doesn't have any effect. It, it is destroyed when it touches the cloud. Mm. So that's how uh, I wrote this book. Wonderful. Well, it's a great story. Why did you decide to transition for this book away from Urdu into English? Well, I had written so many books in Urdu and uh, I have taught myself in English. Uh, so I, I, I had an urge to write in English. Right. And that's why I thought that this story should be written in English so that it reaches a wider audience exactly. because Urdu is limited. Exactly. And, and a different audience. You know, you're yes, well known within the Urdu literary circles, but this is yes. your foray into English literature. And you're starting out with a bang because this is a great story and it is very, very well written. Have you Thank thought you. about this perhaps as a film, like somebody perhaps creating a screenplay and producing it as a movie? Oh, really? I have always thought about that. And I think that uh, maybe someone would read it and like it and uh, would like to transform it into a, a motion picture. Yeah, that be, I think would be terrific. Um, it's very, very visual. It's very, very timely. It's very, very contemporary. So now that the work is out there, hopefully it winds up in the right hand. Somebody like Christopher Nolan. Yes, I have uh, watched many movies, war movies and uh, other uh, things like that. I, I thought, I think that this will make a gr great feature film. Agreed, agreed. Well, yeah. if it does get produced, save a role for me in that film, okay? <laughs> if you sure. need a newsman or a talk show yeah. or something. Perhaps you will play Dr. Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. That'd be the role of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> the theme of technology for peace is central to your book. Tell us what you hope to convey when it talk when you talk about the role of innovation and global security. Yeah, uh, I need to um, convey to the people that war is uh, not uh, the solution to everything. Mm -hmm. There is always hope for peace and we should work for peace and try, try to save our generations from the devastations of wars. We have seen many wars, uh, the First World War, Second World War, and then so many other wars. It's still in, during the modern times, many wars are going on. So I uh, I had this vision to uh, just say, how can we save our uh, countries from the devastation of wars? And so that's uh, brought me to writing this uh, book. 
And uh, then uh, I thought that this, uh, uh, maybe somebody would think about it and mm -hmm. do something. Like, you know, in the past, people use, uh, uh, create, writers used to write about uh, flying carpets and mm -hmm. then the airplane was uh, invented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so exactly uh, exactly like this so uh, this comes in the writer's mind and then mm -hmm. others uh, make it to bring it to reality exactly so, uh, all I you need is a big idea i mean steve, idea. steve jobs didn't know how to build an iphone but he had yes. a vision for an iphone right so yes. that's what you need first yes. you need the vision you need the scope you need the idea and you've come up with a great idea to shield the nation shield the world from uh, the yes. awful so weapons the that we have today yeah yeah dr lucas's character seems to embody patriotism and courage was he inspired by any real life figures or any uh, personal experiences um uh, no, nothing. It's just my imagination. A person mm. like that, I, I imagine that maybe a person like that would be uh, someday he would be he would be born, or or it, there is already a someone who could act like that. So, mm. yeah. Absolutely. Now, this book is intended to motivate children towards research and innovation as well. What advice would you give young readers who aspire to make a positive impact on their community or at the world at large? Yeah, uh, I I wrote this uh, uh, book, and you have uh, uh, you must have uh, read about the two kids who are the characters in this uh, in this book. Yeah, and so that would inspire children to work for uh, for the nation and save the nation for uh, for peace and from people who want to destroy. And those kids may be the ins inspiration for the children who read this book. Tell me a little bit about the malevolent dictator character. <laughs> well, there are so many dictators around the world, and <laughs> we have seen many. Uh, so there are uh, these guys who who don't who don't want peace, or they want to use the creations of scientists not for peace but to destroy others. Mm. So. That character, uh, it came into uh, my mind. But I, and I, I thought that we have to deal with such characters uh, with courage and uh, with determination. Mm -hmm. So that the kids and Dr. Uh, Lucas, they portray such characters who have the courage to fight them and confront them. Absolutely. Yeah. You need a strong man or woman to stand up yes. to a bully. Yes. And uh, you have that in Dr. Lucas for sure. Are yeah. you working on anything right now? Are you working on any new literary works? Yes, I am working on uh, many literary works. Actually, uh, I am actually after this uh, novel, I started working on another English uh, novel. But this one is not for children. This is for elders. <laughs> okay. Tell us about this new book that you're working on. So I'm working on uh, um, this book. Uh, this is about uh, the story of a family. They, they have been, uh, you know, migrating from one place to another just in search for a homeland. Mm. But but they don't find it. So they're going, from, going around the world. And uh, they, at last they arrive in the United States. Yeah. And here they settle. Yeah. So that's that's the basic story. Yeah. Well, that's a great story and a very timely story as well. Certainly you have people all over the globe right now who are escaping war, who are escaping per, uh, persecution, who are escaping yeah. poverty, who need yeah. a place of refuge. And a lot are making it to the United States. A lot are making it to Europe. Um, yeah. And all for the common purpose of building a better life for themselves and their family. Yes, that's right. And, that's and the story of this family, this uh, who were looking for a homeland, they leave one country and go to the other, but they're also, they are discriminated and persecuted, and they leave that country, go to a third country, and it continues until they arrive in the United States. Wonderful, wonderful. And it sounds like a great story, like I said. Uh, the immigrant experience is a contemporary theme right now, and it's it's an ongoing theme in the United States. Everybody here is 
a child or a grandchild or a great grandchild of an right. immigrant, starting with our very first settlers. They came yeah, from England right. and Ireland and Scotland and, you know, wherever. Everybody right. has an immigration story. Yeah. Great work. Jamil Usman has written a wonderful book that is called The Cloud, and he is bringing his unique storytelling abilities to a wider audience right now. By writing this book in English, he normally writes in Urdu. The Cloud is a thrilling tale centered around a hero by the name of Dr. Stephen Lucas, who invents a revolutionary technology to shield the nation from nuclear attacks. It's a great book. It's a great idea. This would make a great film as well. Jamil, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. Great speaking with you, sir. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.